Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater and today I'm going to give you some tips for citing using Harvard Blue Book. This is the most common style for citing legal sources, so you'll probably use it for your finance and business law classes. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use in-text citations as well as footnotes. There are other videos for citing cases, statutes, law reviews, and websites. There are many other types of sources you may need to cite, in which case you should refer to the Harvard Blue Book. The Blue Book is available for in-library use in Anderson Library at the Reference Desk. It's important that you give credit to others for the work that they've done so you can avoid plagiarism. Not doing so, intentionally or not, is misrepresenting your own work and may result in serious academic and legal ramifications. There are two primary ways to cite your sources using Blue Book style. It's important that you check with your professor or the journal you plan to publish in in order to ensure you are citing in the way that they want you to. For law documents, such as briefs, you will cite your sources in the body of the paper. Whereas for academic documents, you will cite your sources in footnotes or occasionally endnotes. Blue Book also uses introductory signals to indicate whether or not a specific citation supports, acts as a comparison, contradicts, or offers background material for your argument. There is a link to a guide created by Boston University explaining and giving examples of these introductory signals at the end of this tutorial. For an in-text citation, all of the information used to create your citation is embedded directly into the paper. You don't use parentheses like you would with APA. This slide contains an example of what that might look like. When writing academic documents, you will use footnotes or endnotes. This page has an example of what footnotes look like. At the end of a sentence that requires a citation, you will put a superscript number. At the very bottom of that page, you will have the superscript number again with the source you're citing. Note that when you do this, the part of the citation that was italicized before is no longer italicized, but the introductory signal is italicized. Endnotes are the same except for rather than putting the citation at the bottom of the page, you're putting it at the very end of your paper. This page contains some other useful sources you might want to check out if you get stuck as you're creating your citations. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about citing sources using Harvard Blue Book.